So let's say you just downloaded Adobe Substance 3D Modeler Beta and you don't know what to do. That's completely understandable. You've got this blue void with the X in it and these button filled monstrosities that are your controllers. It's completely understandable to be confused. So let's start at the beginning. Let's talk about adding and removing material. The brush that you have selected by default is called the clay tool. You can confirm this if you press the bottom button on your off hand, it'll bring up the pop-up menu and you'll see clay tool. This is what you use to add material. By default, it's usable, but a little boring. You know, you have just these shapes that you can make, which is not bad, but you also have a lot of options for adjusting it. So for example, I like pressure sensitivity and you can use either of the smoothing methods. I like steady, it's a little bit more responsive, whereas lazy, if I remember correctly, I'm sure there are good applications for the use of the lazy brush, but personally, I just like the smooth follow that Steady gives you. And when you add pressure sensitivity to that, you can really just create kind of weird tapered shapes, which, you know, for me, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so that allows you to add material. Now, if for example, you create some material and then you decide, oh, I want to erase some of this. You can bring your pop-up menu up and go to the eraser tool. But just for the sake of argument, let's also look at this button right here. The left and right arrow button actually switches between creating material and removing material. So what you can do is also use a light touch on this and it allows you to remove material in a very controlled way. So these two are kind of the backbone of working with, it was the same with Adobe Medium, it's the same on Substance Modeler. You're creating material, you're removing material. So that is pretty useful, but there's one other thing that is also essential to know, and that is how to manipulate shapes you've already made. So for the moment, let's turn off pressure sensitivity and create some of these, a tube of some kind. Now let's pop up menu and go to the warp tool. If you're using Adobe Medium, it would be the move tool. In this one, they've renamed it to warp, but it's basically the same thing. So what you've got is a brush that will allow you to pull material, stretch things out, do all kinds of goodness, whatever you want to do, really, the sky's the limit. Your imagination's the limit. Other options here are the elastic tool, which is like the warp tool, but it actually preserves the mass of what you're working with. So it pulls and reduces and stretches in a, as opposed to just simply pulling material out. Oh, warp complete. So very cool. I find all of them super useful. So that's kind of how you do material adding and removing in Adobe Substance Modeler. In the next one, we'll talk about stepping things up a little bit with things like layers. And uh, as soon as that one is uploaded, I'll pop it up in the upper left corner so that you can see it as soon as it's available. And we'll move on from there. So until next time, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you wanna keep getting these, get the notifications so that you don't miss anything. And until next time, keep being awesome, keep making awesome stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you.